Aqualicious. I was collecting seashells. I found a shell and held it next to my ear so I could listen to the ocean. Instead of hearing the ocean, I heard a little voice inside the shell. Put me down. I'm trying to nap, the voice said. Eek, I screamed. I was scared, but I was also curious. I looked inside the shell. I saw a little face with long hair. Can you help me? Said the little voice. Help you? What are you? I asked. I am Aqua, she said shyly, wiggling out of the shell. Hi, my name is Pinkalicious, I said. Oh, I love the color pink, but blue is my favorite color. Aqua said, I am a mermine. A mermini. What is a mermini, I asked. Merminis are smaller, rarer species of mermaids, said Aqua. Just like there are lots of little different fish in this, different kinds of fish, there are many different kinds of mermaids. Merminis only inhabit, um, ha only inhabit this sea coast. I am actually quite well known, and I, wowee. I screamed excitedly before she could finish. I didn't think mermaids or merminis actually existed. I put Aqua in my bucket so I could show her to my brother Peter. Peter, look what I found, a mermini mermaid, I said. Peter was bury burying mom and dad in the sand while they napped. I dumped the containers of buckets onto the towel. Say something, Aqua, I commanded. I was actually speaking to you when you put me in the pail of periwinkles, hermit crabs, and seashells, which I do not appreciate. Hermit crabs bite. I'd like to go home now, please. Yes, you do need a home, Peter said. Come on, Pinkalicious, let's build the palace for her. I bet she is a princess. Peter and I immediately go to work. We built a big sandcastle with turrets and decorated it with shells, stones, and feathers. Do you like it, Aqua? I asked. Yes, I do like it. It is lovely, but it isn't my home. I live underwater, and I should get back there, she said. Of course, but wouldn't you like to have lunch with us first, asked Peter. Hmm, what are you eating? Normally, I eat algae and plankton. And plankton. Uh, human food would be a real treat, she said. I put Aqua in my water cup and carried her to the concession stand to let her pick out her lunch. I would like one of everything, she said, and don't forget the sea salt. Would you like to play miniature golf with us? I asked Aqua after lunch. Actually. Did I miss a page? No? Sorry. Would you like to play miniature golf with us? I asked Aqua after lunch. All you have to do is hit the little ball into the hole, Peter said. I'll help you. But then I really should get going, Aqua said as she hid in the hole on the putting green. Just hit the ball and I will grab it and then you will win. That's cheating. I don't want to play if you can't play fairly, I said, stomped back, stomping back to the beach. Sorry, Pinkalicious, Aqua said. Perhaps I can teach you how to surf. Just balance on this board and ride through the waves like this. Whee, this is fantastic, I said. Uh-oh, Pinkalicious, that looks dangerous. I'm going to wake up Mommy and Daddy if you're going to stay in the water, said Peter from the shore. Suddenly, a seagull grabbed Aqua and flew away. Help, 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 please. Don't let it eat me, Aqua screamed as she dangled from its beak. Oh my goodness. Quick, Peter, the goal is by the lighthouse. We can still save Aqua, I said, running as fast as I could. Hurry, before she becomes Mermini Mincemeat, said Peter. Don't worry, Aqua. Peter threw a mussel to the seagull, who dropped Aqua into the soft sea grass. Peter picked her up from the ground. He quickly climbed into a little sailboat, sailboat before the seagull came back for her. You'll be safe here. We will protect you, said Peter. Thank you for saving me. I really appreciate it. But now it's time for me to go home. You humans lead such exhausting lives, sighed Aqua. Okay, Aqua, you can go back home, Peter said, as he carefully put Aqua in the water. So long, Aqua. It was nice to meet you, I said, waving goodbye. What are you doing, screamed Aqua. No, help me. There are sharks and eels and horrible crabs in there. This is not my home. Get me out of here. Oh my goodness.
Peter scooped Aqua out of the water and brought her back, uh, brought her back to our towel. If you don't live in the sea, where do you live? I asked. Over there, said Daddy, who was now awake and pointing to the building on the other side of the sand dune. Aqua is famous. She, uh, we came to this beach so we could visit the, aqua, the aquarium where Aqua lives. She is a real mermini. We were going to tell you all about her, but I guess you fell asleep, said Mommy. Sometimes I like to sneak out and go to the beach and see what I can discover. It's good to be curious. You never know what you will find, and you humans are lots of fun. Now I need to get back home to my tank before anyone notices that I'm gone. Will you take me? said Aqua. Inside the aquarium, Aqua swam in her tank. There was a crowd of people who clapped and cheered for her. She was famous, and she swam by on her seahorse. She waved to us. I whispered, thank you, Aqua. You are beautiful. The end. Sweet dreams, sweetie. I'll see you soon. Good night. Love you.